Here are the key quotes for the short story The Red Door by Ian Crichton Smith. 1. He was liked by everybody, since he didn't offend anyone by gossiping. This is indicative of the way village life often works. Most people gossip themselves, but they don't like others who do, thus revealing their hypocrisy. Murdo is keen not to offend or upset anyone else, so he avoids becoming involved in village politics. 2. The mask of senility. The mask of a wildcat. The mask of a spaceman on the face of a little boy whom he could swear he knew. The masks hide the faces of the children who are in disguise for Halloween, as well as drawing attention to Mary's kindness that she made them for the children. But the masks are also symbolic here, as the senility reminds Murdo that he is growing old. The wildcat hints at passion and freedom, and the spaceman hints at the prospect of travel and adventure. Moreover, there's a slight suggestion here that Murdo might even recognise himself as having a childlike yearning to experience some adventure in his life. 3. Murdo had never in his life done anything unusual. Plus the repetition of, as they did, as they did. The words, never done anything unusual, sums up the routine and the lack of ambition that have characterised Murdo's life so far. The word choice of never sounds very blunt and final and makes the reader feel a degree of sympathy towards Murdo as well as frustration, as he clearly has not been living his life to its full potential. Similarly, the repetition of as they did emphasises how much he follows what the other villagers do just so that he can fit in and be liked. Four, nevertheless, there were times when he felt that there was more to life than that. This is a rather heartfelt and poignant statement. We sense that Murdo is aware that he wants more from his life, but unless an opportunity presents itself to escape from his repetitive routine, he could keep going in the same way until he dies. Five. I have nothing to get up for, really. I could, if I liked, stay in bed all day and all night, and none would notice the difference. Murdo is shown here to be apathetic. He feels that his life has no meaning and that there is no point in him getting up because none of the other villagers are interested enough in him to notice whether he's there or not. This is emphasised by the parallel structure of all day and all night. 6. While his father and mother dreamed their way towards death. The alliteration of the letter D here makes this statement stand out and shock the reader somewhat. It appears that Murdo's parents had dreams but they never fulfilled them, probably because the community limited their horizons. 7. She dressed in red clothes and was seen pottering vaguely about during the day and sometimes during the night as well. The colour red symbolises passion and anger. Mary walks out on her own at night, which as a single woman would mark her out in a small community such as this. 8. Rusty pipes like snakes versus a work of art. The language used here by Crichton Smith is particularly effective. Firstly, there's the imagery of the snakes used to describe the pipework in Murdo's house. Just as serpents have connotations of evil, so too the pipes in the house are long and thin and look snake-like, seeming threatening and unpleasant. In addition, the word choice of rusty here suggests the old traditional way of life which Murdo is going to leave behind. By contrast, the newly painted door of Murdo's house is described using the metaphor a work of art. Just as a work of art is a creative object of beauty and worthy of being admired, so too the red door is appreciated by Murdo because of its aesthetic artistic qualities. Nine. It seemed to express something in himself which had been deeply buried for years. The metaphor of deeply buried here suggests that Murdo's true nature has almost died after being continually repressed and suffocated by village life. The word choice of for years also reminds us that he has been unfulfilled for a very long time. 10. I have never, he thought with wonder, been myself. This point marks an epiphany for Murdo. Suddenly he sees that his whole life has been spent fitting into the community. 
He rues the fact that he has never had the courage to shun the wellies and jumper that the other villagers wear and instead wear a coloured waistcoat and a coloured jacket. The repetition of coloured here being emphatic. This shows that he is now ready to break free of the restrictions that have governed his life in the village up to this moment. 11. The door seemed to him to have its own courage. The personification of the door makes it seem alive, just as a human can summon bravery from within, so too the red door appears to be facing the future bravely because it is shining out brightly against the bland whiteness. This inspires Murdo to seize the courage to approach Mary, ready to embrace a new life. 12. He didn't like, he didn't like, he didn't like. The tripling repetitive structure here emphasises the many aspects of village life that have vexed Murdo and made him unhappy. Yet until now, he has put up with all these negatives, not brave enough to reject society's conformity and assert his individuality. 13. He had to keep a perpetually smiling face to the world. It appears Murdo has been putting up a front throughout his whole life so far, but his outwardly happy face is covering up or masking the reality of his dislike of the bleak, monotonous existence in the village, which has stifled his true personality. 14. It was like a magic door out of the village but at the same time it pulsed with a deep red light which made it appear alive. Here again the red door is portrayed as something mystical and living, adding to the supernatural otherworldly atmosphere in this story. The word choice of pulse has connotations of a beating heart which ties in with the passion symbolised by the colour red. 15. And perhaps he had never really belonged to the village Perhaps his belonging had been like the Halloween mask. The repetition of perhaps here suggests that Murdo now suspects that he had never fitted in. He was just putting up a facade, as if he was hiding his real self by wearing a mask of conformity. 16. A red door in a green and black landscape. These words contrast the red door, the symbol of vitality, life and passion, with the dull, uninspiring colours of the surrounding setting. This reminds the reader once more of the contrast between Murdo's previous existence in the village and the hope of the exciting new existence that lies ahead with Mary. 17. He felt a certain childlikeness stirring within him as if he were on Christmas Day. The word choice of childlikeness here links Murdo with the children mentioned earlier in the story. It's almost as if he is starting over again, putting his mundane and miserable youth behind him. 18. It said, please let me live my own life. He knocked on the door. The personification of the door here, giving it a voice, enhances the slightly supernatural feel of this short story. The word choice of my own life is also effective as it highlights his wish to have individuality as opposed to conformity. By knocking on the door, Murdo brings us full circle back to the imagery of doors which symbolise new beginnings. This was first introduced in the opening lines when he surveyed his newly read door. But the door in the final paragraph is Mary's door, signalling that Murdo is ready to move on and embark on a future with Mary. The last line thus almost sounds like the beginning of a new story. As a final point, it's interesting to note that the red door is the only thing to speak in this whole story. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found it useful. See you next time. In other videos on the Red Door, we look at an overview and key themes of the story. If you found this or any of our other videos useful, it would be great if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for your support.